மிஸ்டர் ஸ்ரீனிவாச ராகவன் மிஸ்டர் சங்கரநாராயண ஐயர் பிரின்சிபல் ப்ரொஃபஸர்ஸ் மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டாஃப் அண்ட் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் Today is a happy day for me because it is a day when a fond and dear dream of mine is coming true. When we started the high school 3 years ago, the idea of extending the facilities for higher education was engaging our attention even then. We would have started the college a little earlier had we been able to provide the facilities that are necessary, even the temporary facilities that are necessary for its satisfactory functioning. The secretary has given you the background and the full details about the institution and its scope and its future policies. What I would like to stress this morning is the fact even though one comes forward to provide the funds and the wherewithal there are lots of other things that are necessary to make the policy a successful one. When we registered the Paramakalyani Education Society 3 years ago I thought that providing about 25 lakhs of rupees for educational facilities in the tiny village of Alwar Kuruchi would be sufficient to provide the facilities on the standards that we are accustomed to or at any rate i am accustomed to we find that probably a lot more money would be required in course of time provision of money is not difficult at any rate comparatively speaking that is an easy matter what is more difficult is the implementation of the charter that we gave to ourselves at the time we registered the education society you would be interested to know what these details of the charter that i am referring to are first of all there is no other educational institution or a high school or a college of the type we were trying to establish it was to be an institution something quite different at any rate We wanted something quite different in its conception in its execution from the ordinary run of a high school the highest monuments of efficiency was one of the first terms of the charter we wanted to employ the best teachers that were available we wanted to pay them satisfactorily we wanted to provide conditions and terms of service something better than the ordinary run of training elsewhere we wanted to keep the standard of efficiency the standard in the classrooms as high as is possible with the material that is available here and i'm glad to say that during these 3 years our efforts look like having been crowned with somewhat qualified success in the high school during the last 2 years the results had been comparatively good but i am still not satisfied 100% of the pupils that are sent out for examination should come out successful if the institution is worth its name what is the use of sending 100 pupils and 25 pupils pass out of these it is a slur on the management on the teaching staff on the students on the place on everything it is an ambitious thing to aim at but i think that should be the goal that all of us such of us who are in charge of running educational institutions should aim at should constantly keep before themselves the ideal that every one of the boys that come up to the institution should be taken note of not just before a few days of the examination but right throughout the year and see that they study their lessons properly see that they are coached properly it is a responsibility we have taken over the responsibility from the hands of the parents and it is up to the teachers who are in charge of the future of the career of the boy to see that every boy who comes here is tutored properly is coached efficiently is coached sufficiently efficiently as to at least pass the examination that the university sets forth we are in the course of another 2 or 3 years expecting and hoping to improve the results that we have achieved so far and i must give credit to my staff to the teachers the headmaster and all those connected with the running of the high school including the correspondent for the excellent results so far produced i only hope that they would be able to improve it but i cannot expect them to do more than 100% 
but if they achieve continuously a 100 percentage result for 5 years i think that is the reward i shall expect to get for all the munificence for all the money that we are pouring into this tiny village in regard to the college which we are starting now i am going to address a meeting of the professors and the principal probably this afternoon or tomorrow and i am going to impress on them i am warning them now i'm going to use hard words to say that i expect the same results from out of the college students also and the same conditions that we have enumerated and which we are practicing at the high school will also have to be practiced at the college level the second item in the charter which we gave to the education society is the development of character of the students This is an item on which I am a religious fanatic. Unless the educational institutions develop or take upon themselves the responsibility of developing the character of the boys that come under this portico, there is no future. There is no salvation for our country. Everything depends upon the character of the individual. As I said, in my own lifetime making money is quite a simple thing. If you want about rupees 15 or 20 crores it is not difficult to make as long as you go on the right lines and keep going on the right lines until you find it but you cannot go on the right lines unless you have the self supporting enthusiasm of your own character the strength of your own character and i think educational institutions should take upon themselves the responsibility that is the initial responsibility for character building even more than for the capacity of the students for passing the examination we must have pupils coming out of the institution with excellent character which nobody can find fault with which will help them to get on in life and make a success of their lives in this aspect the cooperation of the professor and the college the parent and the house and the members of the general public at large are necessary so in the name of all the pupils who have joined as students in this college for the first year i appeal to the principal the professors the lecturers the parents and the members of the general public to help us develop the character of the students at large the third item in the charter that we set to ourselves is that we would keep every student who comes under the portals of this college or the educational institutions controlled by the paramakalyani education society as equal members without any kind of preference based on either religion caste or communal or any other considerations unfortunately i happen to belong to a particular caste that does not mean that we are treating other members of the caste in any different or inferior way and i want to show publicly to all the people the parents and everyone that every student will get the same treatment in the matter of educational things in this institution and there will be no difference whatsoever between student and student now in regard to the future the secretary said that it is the intention of the management to extend the degree courses the additional facilities for opening the degree courses next year it depends on whether we are able to complete the buildings funds are there but at the same time the erection of the physical wing will take time and we are hoping that the permanent buildings which we expect to erect on the other side of the temple will be ready by next year to enable us to start the degree courses at least for accommodating the students that pass out of the pre university course from this college the society has other plans for the future in point of fact 2 or 3 years ago when we discussed this matter with the vice chancellor dr a lakshman swami mudaliyar mention was made that a polytechnic or an engineering college should be started around here and on subsequent discussions we decided that it is better to have a first grade college before we launch on other engineering institutions because that basic qualification is necessary we are still not exactly toying with the ideas it is something more concrete than that we are still concerned with the provision 
of an engineering institution in this part of the state. For all these, we require the cooperation, the active not only the PESI one, the active cooperation of everyone living around these parts. Every time I appear before you to speak, I mention about this public cooperation. I attach a great deal of importance to it. The reason why I keep on repeating it is, without the cooperation of the people here, however small or insignificant he might be, the running of the institution will be made more and more difficult. Particularly in these parts, the cooperation is most valuable and I appeal to you in the name of the students and the management to every one of you to actively cooperate and treat this as your institution. I am only here by your sufferance. I have provided the money, but the institution is yours. If I want to take away the institution, can I do it? The institution is there. I want everybody's cooperation. I want every one of you to treat this institution as though it belongs to you and I make it a public announcement. If we have the cooperation of all the people around this area, cooperation without any kind of reservation, mental, moral or any other way, if I have this cooperation, it would make my job easier to provide you additional facilities for carrying on the activities of the society in larger and larger spheres. One thing more I want to assure the principal, the professors, the lecturers and the other members of the staff that they will receive at the hands of the management the fairest possible treatment without any kind of distinction. Without any kind of wire pulling we hear so much about in these educational institutions. Every one of them will receive the fairest possible treatment if the job is good, if the work that he is doing is satisfactory, if the results that he is producing in the number of students passing the examination at the end of the year is really satisfactory, all these will be taken note of and they will all be suitably rewarded. Insecurity is usually associated with the teaching staff of educational institutions. They can forget about it. As long as they concentrate on their work and produce satisfactory and good work, their job is as secure as my own job is. Lastly, I want to publicly thank Mr. Srinivas Raghavan, Principal of the VOC College and the Chairman of the University Commission that was sent out here. He has been most helpful and in fact, if it were not for his active suggestions and cooperation, maybe the starting of the college might have been delayed by another year. I want him to continue to take the same parental interest in these institutions and we will go to him often for suggestions and I have told the principal that he is always available for guidance and request Mr. Srinivas Raghavan to give him the closest possible cooperation and advice in the running of the institution so that the society might redeem the terms of the charter they have placed themselves under. I have kept you long enough. I have great pleasure in inaugurating Sri Paramakalyani College this morning and I wish the institution and the students that will be and that are passing through the portals of this college the very best luck, the very best of everything in life. Goodbye. God bless you.